winter sport. Amazingly, more than half of all Formula One teams on the grid are based here in Britain. But why? I think the, uh, the Brits are so good at motorsport uh, because of sort of the heritage that has got, that goes all the way back to really aviation and that technology of how to make a lighter car came from the necessity to make a light aircraft. There will be, I think, in the next five years, two more Grand Prix teams, and I'd be very, very surprised if those aren't uh, based in the UK. As well as McLaren, Jordan, Williams, the outgoing Jaguar team, and even French team Renault have bases here, while David Richards runs both BAR Honda and the Subaru World Rally Team from two factories in the Midlands. So why does he think Britain is unique? The Japanese coming to me once, and um, we are designing a prototype gearbox, and when we told them we would have this gearbox ready in six weeks, they said it was totally and utterly impossible to do that on the other side of the world. So it's, it's that sort of supply chain, if you like, that's all around us. Here in Brackley, we've got small companies all around us. We can design the part, conceive the whole thing, have it made locally, and have it on our car within weeks. And it's that whole process that is, uh, is our great strength and isn't established in any other country. It's interesting that people have tried to set up parallel operations all around the world, but none so successfully as here in Britain. This culture of small, innovative companies with a passion for engineering excellence that created Britain's motorsport success was founded on our love of these, sports cars. Britain has more sports car builders than any other country in the world. Together, they build sports cars for every need, every pocket and every driving style. And they've been doing it for over 70 years. One of the simplest and cheapest new sports cars is a Caterham 7, based on Colin Chapman's famous Lotus 7 of the 50s and available in kit form for as little as 13 grand. For similar money and a similar shape, you could also buy a Westfield, who, like Caterham, sell over 500 sports cars a year. But if those aren't traditional enough, Morgan still handcraft over 700 cars a year at their Malvern factory, all designed in a similar vein to this plus 4-4 Roadster. However, if flat caps aren't your thing, try this. It's built by Radical, who are part of a new generation of sports car makers with the fast-growing track day market at the heart of their business. But however popular track days are getting, most buyers still prefer luxuries such as a windscreen, doors and a boot, all of which come as standard on MG's TF. It's Britain's biggest seller and it outsells the rest of the market put together. But that doesn't mean it's the best. Because that acclaim goes to one of these two. This is Vauxhall's superb VX220 Turbo, a Lotus Elise under the skin, but with Vauxhall's two-litre turbocharged engine in the back, making it supercar quick. But Lotus weren't too keen on Vauxhall selling a cheaper and quicker version of their own car. So they built this, the 111R, with a completely new, normally aspirated engine plus gearbox, courtesy of Toyota, and a reworked chassis. Improvements that made the Lotus not only my favourite handling sports car, but also quicker than the Vauxhall when I put them head to head on the fifth gear test track. The motorcycle penetrates surprisingly deeply and the people inside the car would suffer serious injuries to their heads and upper bodies.